हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू अनादर एपिसोड ऑफ एनी वन कैन कोड इन दिस एपिसोड आई एम गोइंग टू इंक्रीज अ लेवल ऑफ वॉट वी वर प्रैक्टिसिंग टिल नाउ वी वर टेस्टिंग सम कोड्स विच वर जस्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ कोडिंग वर्कस नाउ हेयर इन दिस पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू बेसिकली इंक्रीज द लेवल ऑफ द कोड्स दैट वी वर इम्प्लीमेंटिंग बाय नाउ right so hope you like this video and uh, if you find any issues uh, like whatever i am uh, uh, you know uh, using in this part so you can totally go back to my videos and uh, find out uh, what we have practiced till now and uh, how you know things are working so i'm sure it is going to be very very informational for you so please go back to those videos and uh, help yourself they are pretty much explainable on their own so you won't find any issues in uh, uh, you know understanding what is going on and come back to this video and follow what is going on in this one right so also i am not asking you to have any background of coding or have any prior knowledge uh, i am not asking you to do any you know hard task in this we are just going to keep it simple keep it subtle so that anyone can code right so we'll stick to the motto of my series which is anyone can code and uh, hope you like it right uh, so also the platform that we are going to use is code.org and you can find the link in the description i will also uh, you know like to tell you that uh, whatever things uh, that i am going to be using in the platform are pretty much been explained in my previous video so you can just go and check them out uh, also uh this uh, platform is absolutely free to be very honest it is very much accessible for anyone out there whether you are an adult or a child you can definitely go and uh, you know use the platform in order to create an account because you'll be able to use it only after creating an account and how the account creation is going to work for you and how things are going to be falling into place you are going to find everything every information in my previous videos so definitely go and check them out um, let's start with what we are going to achieve today so what in this uh, uh, you know episode uh, what we are going to do is basically use a button to change the background of the screen on every click so maximum of my previous videos have been regarding the button click because button is something the most understood thing to you know start with uh, coding and uh, button is something which is very much understood to the real world so i am taking the prior examples uh, regarding buttons so in this one every single time what we are going to do is change the background on every click and the background will be absolutely different from the previous one so the background will not be repeating right so let's figure out what we are going to be doing by breaking up the uh, entire uh, task right so as we already know we are going to change the background on every click so first we need to have a button which is clickable and uh, then we are going to have a background which will be changing color on every click right so uh, yeah that is pretty, uh, pretty much it so we are going to head back to the platform where we are going to be building our code right so stick tight so here we are on this platform uh, this is code.org and this is going to be something that uh, we are going to be using in this one as well so if you are not able to figure out what these things are how we have reached this part and how to basically you know uh, understand uh, what all things are here uh, definitely i am going to say it again you need to check my previous videos and they will be absolutely helpful for you so uh, i'm not going to be repeating that part in this one because it's going to just drag the uh, timing and uh, we need to make it quick and so that you can understand maximum of it and uh, you know your time is still saved so my mantra of this series is basically just make it as much as easy to understand the quicker as possible right so yeah 
let's start right away so uh, as we already know that we need to have a button now the button thing i have brought from the design tab so you need to go to the design tab and bring the button by dragging and dropping right so this is it and uh, the screen that we are using is basically this one only so we have one screen only uh, now the next thing that we need to have is a background we already have a background because we have a screen right so uh, next thing that we are going to do is make it clickable now this button uh, needs to be clickable right it needs to perform some functions so in order to do that uh, you must if you have watched my previous videos though you must be known to the fact that we are going to use an on event function why because it basically executes the callback code when a specific event type occurs for the specific ui element now it basically means that whenever you're going to perform a function uh, regarding clickable things uh, then in that case the function or the piece of code that is going to be performing your task is basically on event right so the easiest part to understand it is this right so i am just going to pick this code and uh, uh, you know place it in my sheet uh, this is basically the sheet where we write the code right uh, so the next thing we need to have is the set property part which is basically used to uh, change the background which you might be known if you would have uh, uh, used my previous videos or watched my previous videos so i will just uh, drag it and drop it uh, let me just yeah so i'm just going to be putting it here right so now this set property uh, now we need to give these uh, uh, you know piece of codes the id on uh, the id of the element on which they are going to be performing these uh, uh, you know tasks so uh, now what is going to be clicked now here is a little hint that it is basically regarding the click right so what is going to be clicked my button is going to be clicked right so i need to check what its id is now in order to find out what the id of the element is you need to just you know uh, bring the cursor here and bring your mouse here and just you know try to uh, just not clicking it or doing anything just bring it here and you will be finding this x and y coordinates along with the id that it is displaying right so the values of x and y and uh, then you will see the id below it right so id of the button is button one right so i'll be mentioning that id now it is going to be giving me options uh, of the elements that are available on my mobile phone uh, right the dummy mobile phone now in this two elements are available one is the screen and the other one is the button right and both the ids have been given in the suggestion right so the one that i'm going to be making clickable is the button so the button one is the id that i'm going to be using now the set property is basically going to change the background right in that case i need to mention uh, the task that is going to be performed is basically the background color we are going to be changing the background color now whose background is going to be changed it is the background of the screen right so i'm going to be mentioning the id of the screen now the next thing that we are going to do is uh, basically provide it uh, something called random now random is going to do what is basically it is going to uh, it is basically going to just uh, i'll be giving it just rgb right and uh, i'm just uh, uh, rgb is basically red green and blue uh, and in these we give the values to those particular colors now what happens is that every color co uh, color has a code by which it is identified in the piece of code right so if i am writing or i am going to refer to a particular color every shade now not just red green blue yellow white even the mixes of those colors have a particular code by which they are identified in the coding world basically that part of the color is referred to as rgb now 255 is the maximum and zero is the least right so the range in which the color or the shade that is going to be ranging is between 0 to 255 
right so here i am going to be providing uh, uh now all these uh, uh, values have been predefined so they're going to be hard code now if you want to check what color it is going to be uh, bringing so i'll be just running the code and checking whether it changes yes so this is the color code that rgb is defining here right so i'm going to reset it now i'll be giving a random function now what is a random function let's find out right so i am going to be just going to math random what it says that is returns a random number ranging from zero up to up to but not including one exclusive right so basically what it says is that it is going to give any number now what it will be doing is that it is going to be bringing every single time a different number which is why every single time uh you know a different shade will be picked so i am going to just pick this function and i am going to just place it somewhere here now yeah that is something that is causing problems so in that case i am just going to change this tab show text now what this is going to do is basically what you saw as a block of code has now been changed to as text right so it makes it's, it makes it uh, a little easier for you to write a piece of code right so here i am going to change this value and after the comma now you need to be very very careful so if you will try to change the uh, the code uh, from any of the three places so it will not be giving you the result you require because the last part of this rgb is basically what handles the decimal values right so you need to be very particular about that uh, so in uh, in the decimal part one which is the last place in the rgb you're going to be giving the math dot random so as you can see in the suggestion it said already come so math dot random is the function that i have given it right so uh, i'm done with my code uh, this is all things that we have done i will bring back to the show block mode right uh, now here uh, as you can see we have an on event function uh, we have a button that is clickable we have a screen that is going to change the color and every single time the shade of the color will be changing with the help of math dot random function right so i hope you understood by this far now we're going to execute it and check if this is working or not So as I've press run, now I'm going to be checking whether it is working or not. So whenever I press, this is the first shade. Whenever I press, as you can see, every single time it's picking a different color. Every time it's going to ch keep changing, keep changing, right? It's going to keep every single time it's going to be changing shades, right? So as you define a different color, it is going to be keep changing and picking new new shades every uh, you might not notice a lot of difference but it is different from the previous one that it has used so even when you go to the you know uh, the scale where there are a lot of suggestion for the codes or the colors uh, you will be finding that even a red has a lot of shades they are unlimited right so every shade has a code uh, and uh, those are the shades that are available here right so uh, yeah so far uh, we have achieved what we you know determined to achieve here so if you like this video uh, and my content so far please like share and subscribe uh, subscribing is very very important guys because it literally helps us to you know uh, understand what our viewers want and uh, uh, you know they whether they are liking the content or not whether it's like really important right so like also share also and please 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 comment also because 
your suggestions literally help even if you want to appreciate my content please 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 comment down and let me know because it's just like a feedback that you guys give and i am totally open to suggestions i'm totally open to you know appreciation i'm totally open to even crit- criticism so please please let me know what you think and uh, what do you want me to create the content next time if you are happy with this level please give a thumbs up and uh, subscribe definitely please uh, so that we can you know uh, learn more codes and learn more content uh, uh, because i am going to be soon uploading a lot of content so you stick tight and uh, let's learn together uh, thank you so much bye bye